This village road in Kemenong, Kenya, leads to a caring place. The boys' dorm was our first structure, and then we've built the girls' dorm. We have a dining hall and a kitchen. The Elma Barnett Children's Center is home to 55 children in need. They could be AIDS orphans or the parents died of malaria. Jill Weller helped found the center. Remarkably, her story begins half a world away at RBCPC. I've gone to this church since I was a little kid, so this was the only church I've ever gone to. One Sunday, she learned of a mission trip to Kenya. Never been on a mission trip and just decided to do it. I've seen poverty. That wasn't a shock to me. But the people, this really what overwhelmed me, the, the loveliness of the people. Especially with the children, it felt like this just amazing wave of love. She felt her life was about to change. Like God was saying, give up everything you have, give up your job at UCSD, your condo, your cats, and move to Africa. Jill did answer the call, gave away everything, and in 2008 moved to the orphanage. Soon after, a boy approached her. He's like, do you really want to know what's going on here? And I said, well, of course. The director was abusing the boys. Be over a 10 year period, 40 or 50 boys, William would take them out to a hotel. He would never do it at the home. He'd bring them out, you know, rape them, sodomize them. So I knew, okay, this is why God called me here. Imagine her level of faith, leaving with 80 children with no home to go to. We moved all the boys into a chapel. The girls were living in a local health clinic. But despair turned to hope. That's when this property was purchased. 20 acres. And the Elmo Barnett Children's Center became a reality. We have a farm, so we're growing our own food. We have fresh milk every day. We do have fresh, clean water, which is good. And the kids are happy and they're safe and they're well fed. Jill lives here about half of her time and the other half in San Diego raising money for the orphanage. You can get involved by sponsoring a child. I was truly transformed from my relationship with those kids. And I feel like I, I want to share that with people here.